Hello everyone, welcome to Carnivorous Plants Hub. Today I have a quick video showing you a really interesting Venus flytrap mutation. I have a trap that's split into two, forming kind of a heart shape. It's a really interesting mutation. I love when my carnivorous plants put out strange mutations. It keeps things really interesting. This one here is a King Henry Venus flytrap, and up to this point it's been pretty normal, nothing unusual. My biggest question for this flytrap is will it be functional and still close? It doesn't look like it's going to have the ability to completely close and seal, but will it even try? Then if it does close, will it close on an insect and digest it? Go ahead and stick around to the end of the video to find out. You can see that this mutation is really unusual. It looks like the two traps are trying to grow from the same leaf. I'm not a master of biology and I have no idea why these mutations actually happen, but I do see them posted in groups from time to time. More often than not, what you see is one individually mutated trap rather than it being a mutation within the plant's genetics. If you get a cool mutation that's within the plant's genetics, oftentimes that plant will reproduce that mutation over and over. And sometimes that's how you end up with these really cool cultivars. There's a unique mutation that someone was able to reproduce through tissue culture or propagation. That mutation then lives on within that plant creating a new cultivar. So far this one just seems to be a one-time mutation, so we'll see what happens down the road. The other thing that's kind of interesting about this mutation is the placement and unusual number of trigger hairs. I didn't count, you can see that they're kind of in odd places, which makes sense based on its shape. There's also kind of an odd number of them. Okay, enough gawking at these cool mutation. Let's see if this thing is actually functional. All right, next thing we're gonna do here is see if these traps close, but real quick before we do that, I wanted to thank you for being here. Make sure to pour some water on the like button and subscribe to help my channel grow. My goal's always been to start my own carnivorous plant nursery, and I finally opened up my own store. I'm working on getting plants ready for sale right now, but until I do, I do have high quality planters and high quality substrate. Make sure to check out the links in the description and pinned comment. Also, if you're in the market right now for plants, Car California Carnivores has a huge selection. To help you out with that, make sure to use my code BUGEATER to get 10% off your order. Links to their collections and plants are also in the pinned comment and description. Alright, I'll stop yapping, let's go ahead and check out the functionality. All right, I'm going to go ahead and keep things pretty simple here. To test the functionality, I'm just going to touch the trigger hairs and we're going to see what happens. Okay, take a look at that. The traps are functional. They do close. It looks like it might keep a hole in the middle, so I'm not sure if it's going to close enough to keep the insect in. Also, will it continue to close and seal when the secondary trigger happens with movement inside the closed trap? Will it even close enough to keep the insect in? Those are questions that I'm asking right now. I'm going to have to wait a few days though for it to open back up so we can put a bug in there. Alright, for you it was just a moment, but for me it's been a few days. The traps opened back up. Let's see what it does with a fly. This fly here is a little slow. I did put it in the fridge so it didn't fly away. It'll slowly start waking up and probably trigger the trap. There we go. The trap has been triggered and now we will see if this trap will close tight and try to digest. This was a 30 minute time lapse. Usually at the 30 minute mark, they are pretty closed up tight. I'm going to have to wait and see what this does after a few days. Alright, I waited a few days. Again, for you just an instant. For me, it's been another few days. It's actually been 5 days later. It's not 100% sealed, but it's closed pretty tight. There are no signs of this trap turning black and rotting, which is awesome because that's something that I was worried about. It's still just a little open, and sometimes when a trap is left open and not completely sealed, they'll turn black and die. But so far, so good. That's all I have for now. I'll try to bring you an update once this opens up so we can take a look and see how this fly trap digested the fly. Thank you so much and I hope to catch you in my next video. Bye.